And my yogi is G-I-A-N-T. My name is Kiray, also known as Lake Uh oh! <laughs> so we have David Banner right here. I appreciate you for coming out. Yeah. When you make a beat, what's the first thing you focus on? I don't know. Um, I always felt like the reason why they call it a soul music. Soul music. The reason why people want to know how you usually make a beat so they can steal your formula away from you. Mm. It's, it's God working with you, bro. Like, you never know how God working with you. You may have a hook in your mind, so you may play the chords to the hook. You may have a drum beat. But, like, whatever comes to you first, like, I don't, I think you become a robot. And that's when music becomes boring. When you try to always, like, sometimes, no lie, bro, I'll sit and just do this. And just be on the keyboard. I heard Dr. Dre plays a record on the other side of the house. By the time it travels through the house, it's something else. You know what I'm saying? It's so many different things that you do. Sometimes I do something that's called tap. I tap tempos. I don't take a person's song, but what I do is if it's a popping uh, um, rhythm, because like when you when you go to a DJ, if you already know the tempo, you could be like, hey. Um, What's, 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 what's gonna in them record, bro, that I like? Drip Too Hard. So, like, if it's the same tempo as Drip Too Hard and you want the DJ to play it, you can say, hey, this mix in with Drip Too Hard. So when you play Drip Too Hard and he put your record in there and it's jamming, he'll go ahead and throw it in there for you. So you make it easy. For me, there is no, no equation, bro. I just let God work with you. To swing it to, you know, my side of thing. I am not a producer, but I do like writing poetry. Something, um... I wanted to ask about was like how did you find your wordplay was it looking at dictionaries or certain type of dictions you wanted to use for reaching a crowd well, what I did is again it's sort of like producing there's really no difference you can produce with sounds or you can produce with words back when I was a super dope poet but I am a poet because I'm an MC it's really the same thing I tell y'all something really funny if y'all ever see me go look up like I've been on Def Jam poetry I've been on all these super Super slam poetry things, and people think that that be poetry. All it be is raps that I say in just like regular words. So I'll say, make them girls get down on the floor. <laughs> like a <okay. laughs> Seriously, seriously, I'm not joking about that. Every poem that I've ever done was always a rap. I just slowed it down. You know what I'm saying? So the thing is, is that I think what people mess up is when they try to impress people. Like what happened is, is in, in your great grandparents, if you think about the Curtis Mayfields, you think about all the people, they weren't worried about the crowd. As an artist, you're supposed to lead the crowd. Now the artists are all followers. They do what the streets tell them to do. You're God's people that are supposed to be musician. Look at the Bible, like I said today, David was a musician. He wrote songs. Songs was literally like music, right? It was songs, basically. You feel what I'm saying? Songs, songs, you just do what's on your heart. And then people adjust to it. You feel what I'm saying? Just write what's on your heart. And the thing is, is that you live amongst people, right? Yes. So somebody's feeling the same thing that you feel. So when you write about somebody else's experience, they may be lying. They may be capping. They may not went through any of that stuff that you're talking about. You write about your life. You know that somebody's experience, what you experience, because they live a life just like you did. Willie, we're good. Other folks be lying most of the going. time. I'm telling you, most of them be lying. Most people ain't got that kind of money that they talking about. They lying. Right. Now, by the time they get finished lying to you, they have been collected that amount of money because you believe them, man. You gave them all your money and your attention. Most of that stuff is lies. Do more questions. We got to go. Okay. We hungry. We ain't ate. Did you want to ask a question, Tyler? I'm Tyra, Hi, Tyra, and I'm a communication major as well. You have the God Box. What is the story behind that title? Well, Erica Badu taught me something very important. And when they cut out the first light, that always means get the hell out, so we gotta hurry up. Um, <laughs> Erica Badu taught me something. She said that you are like a, she basically was saying that when you explain to people what your music means, you take away their experience. Sometimes when people listen to your music, it means something different to them. There's this book that I read every year, it's called The Alchemist. One of the dopest books I ever read, and every year that book means something else to me because I, I've gone through different things. So there's different things in the book that mean something. Some people may uh, uh, um, 
Um, you may say I stopped at the red light. Some people may say, oh, David Banner went through something. His experiences made him mad. That's the red light. Maybe you was just talking about driving and stopping at the damn red light. <laughs> but if yeah. you tell people, oh, I was just in my car and I stopped at the red light, then they don't feel you no more. They feel like they're stupid when you explain. The best thing that I tell people is that the God box was, I wanted people who are becoming conscious to feel like they weren't crazy. Because most of the time when you, when you learn new stuff, like you feel like you're the only one. You feel stupid. You feel like your mom or your grandma don't understand because they don't understand or they don't have the knowledge that you have. But we don't understand sometimes we're smarter than a parent. And we're supposed to because they sacrificed and work like slaves so we can be free thinkers. Sometimes we can't expect our parents to understand what we're going through because they didn't have an opportunity to live. Last question, y'all. We got to go. And her smile is the reason why we're doing this interview. So smile. Look at, oh, look at the camera. Give it to him, girl. All right, last question. <laughs> um, my last question. Well, it's really. Oh, it's the last question. Okay, my last. Heartless, <laughs> y'all last question. Our last question will go to Miles because he was really excited for this. All right, go, young Miles. As an artist producer, how do you decipher between which beats you sell and market to other people and which beats you use for yourself? Anything that you sell. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If you make beats, you're supposed to be able to give anybody anything. Why hold it? You can make another. There was this rapper back in the day, he was in a group called Brand New. He said something that was so dope and I didn't get it until I was older. He said, I can write a rhyme, rip it up, and write the next one. He said, I can literally write the dopest rhyme on this earth. I can rip it up in front of you and write another one because I'm an artist. So everything is really for sale. The advice that I would give is always, my beats feel like my children. Like a lot of people sell music like it's dope. Anybody can get it, whatever, whatever. That's what Lee tried to teach me. But I try to teach him my music is for, my music is like my children. And just like your mother and father, they want they want you in the best hands where you can have the most success. So if I give somebody my beat, that's like my little girl. I don't want you to treat her like a whore. I would like for you to marry her and give her a good life and pamper her and take her, but I don't want you to slut her out. Feel what I'm saying? So like the only thing about me, I that makes it hard for me is I really love music. The reason why people who are more hustlers do better in music is they don't care. They just sell you anything. They'll say anything. My, 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 my parents taught me, they said, my dad taught me, you, what makes you a man or a woman is not what you say yes to, it's what you say no to. You feel what I'm saying? Whatever you say no to, that means you have a certain level, that, 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 that you have a certain level of discipline. And that's what fasting is. You don't wanna, if you don't want to be overweight, just stop putting food in your mouth. It's easy. It ain't hard. I appreciate y'all. Make sure that y'all support DavidBanner.com. Love y'all. Thank you. Easy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.